Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana and today we're going to be making beef in a tomatillo sauce. This is kind of like a Mexican stew but we do call it guiso. It is very popular. We make it all the time so I really want to show you how to make it. Let's get started. Okay, let's start by cooking the ingredients for the salsa. In a large pot, place a quarter of a large white onion, half a pound of tomatoes, and one and a half pounds of tomatillos. Pour in enough water to cover the ingredients. I used eight cups. Transfer to the stove and cook over medium heat. Keep an eye on the tomatillos. We don't want them to burst, which is a sign of overcooking. Next, grab 10 dried chiles de árbol or the amount of your preference depending on how spicy you want the salsa to be. Over low heat, toast them just until they become fragrant. Turn continuously to prevent them from burning. As mentioned in previous recipes, if you burn them, they will turn your salsa bitter. As soon as they are ready, remove from the heat and set them aside until needed. Let's check on the tomatillos. They look great. You want them to turn a pale green color, remain whole, and also make sure they're cooked. Remove as soon as they are ready and add in the toasted red chilies to the water so they can soften. Also allow the rest of the ingredients to finish cooking. As for the tomatillos, place them in a large container so they can cool down. We are using frying cheese. It's a great addition. Cheese cooked in salsa is such a delicious combination. Go ahead and pat dry a one pound block of cheese with a paper towel to remove some moisture and dice into bite-sized pieces. Place a non-stick pan or griddle over medium heat. Add oil and let it get hot. Then add the cheese and brown both the top and bottom. You are looking for a gorgeous golden brown color. Using frying cheese is perfect because it doesn't melt completely. It does soften but it holds its shape, which is a plus because it allows us to brown it with no issues. Once done, remove from the heat and set them aside until we are ready to use. Moving on, we need three pounds of beef. I'm using chakai steak. For this dish, I like to pick a cut with a good amount of marble to ensure a moist and very flavorful dish. Keep this in mind when you pick your favorite cut because this is not a dish we will be cooking for hours. We really do not want to be chewing on tough meat. Go ahead and dice into small bite-sized pieces. Then season with salt and black pepper to taste. I used two teaspoons of kosher salt. Now mix to combine. By now the rest of the ingredients for the salsa should be cooked. Remove from the heat and place the onion, tomatoes, and chilies together with the tomatillos so they can also cool down. Then transfer all the ingredients to the blender. Additionally, also add two garlic cloves. Blend until completely smooth and broken down. By the way, I did remove the stem from the onion before blending. Great, the salsa is ready. Now let's move on to the meat. Place a large pan over medium-high heat, add oil, and allow it to get hot. Once hot, add the beef cuts, but make sure you don't overcrowd the pan. I'm actually going to cook them in separate batches. Once in, wait for the side touching the oil to brown and stir to make sure you obtain an even browning all around. The reason why we don't want to overcrowd the pan is because it will cause the temperature to drop and the juices to release. As a result, you will have steamed meat and that's not what we're looking for. To brown it, we have to cook it on high heat. Once the meat looks evenly browned, remove and continue with the rest. If you feel you need more oil in between batches or at any point during the searing process, go ahead and add more. It looks perfect. The searing process really brings out the flavor on the meat. When paired with the tomatillo salsa, the flavors are unbelievable. 
I'm finished with the meat and check out the browning at the bottom of the pan. It cannot go to waste. Lower to medium low heat and pour in the tomatillo salsa. By doing this, we are deglazing. The browning at the bottom of the pan will release right into the sauce. Gently stir to help everything mix well. At this point, let the salsa cook for an additional five minutes on a gentle simmer. Make sure the heat is not too high since we don't want it to reduce too much. Meanwhile, in a large pan, I'm going to combine the meat and cheese. The sauce looks great. Stir once again and pour over the meat and the cheese. Mix it in making sure everything gets completely covered. Add salt to taste to open up the flavors and mix once again. Now cover and cook on a gentle simmer over medium low heat for an additional 5 minutes to allow the meat to finish cooking and the cheese to soften. During this time, all the flavors will come together and create such an outstanding dish that will instantly win you over. After 5 minutes, it should be done. Uncover and indulge in all the aromas that should have filled your kitchen by now. Go ahead and remove from the heat. To accompany this guiso, I have prepared some Mexican rice and a fresh salad. I will leave the link to the rice in the description area. For the salad, I used shredded iceberg lettuce and topped it with tomato, red onion, and avocado slices. Add the stew with a generous amount of the salsa and prepare yourself for an amazing dish that will bring joy to your dining table. I'm so ready to taste. All right. You cannot forget about the tortillas. This is a must. You ready? Wow. The meat is so tender. The sauce is dreamy. It's so good. You get the acidity from the tomatillos paired with the red chilies. It's so good. It brings such a balance to the sauce. And the tomatoes really bring a lot of flavor as well. Overall, the sauce is amazing. I love it. This is a must. Definitely a must. boy this right here is a complete meal by the way i'm gonna go ahead and leave you the link for the mexican rice down in the description area don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media and don't forget to subscribe like this video and click the notification bell because that's how you show me all of your support until the next one